Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana baby right here in Freetown. Trust me, Freetown is way too beautiful. I never expect Freetown this way, but she brought me in a place that I've never been in my entire life. <laughs> Why do you have to bring me to a place like this though? It's one of our best features. I have to show it off. <laughs> I, have to show no, I have to show it off. To the world, huh? To the world. To the world, yeah? <laughs> to the world. What is your name? Elaine. Elaine? Yes. Your accent is beyond me. <laughs> Elaine, hey, 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 after taking a while. Oh, hey. wow. <laughs> I can speak Korean if you want me to, oh, but no, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. So let's just stick with the English. <laughs> you know, like your accent. Yes. Basically, you didn't live in Freetown. Nope. I moved here two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. So where were you? I was in the UK. You were in the UK. Yes. You know, the last time I did a video mm -hmm. about a UK returning mm -hmm. to Gambia, and she said England is a dump, and, and it really got me into trouble. <laughs> Why? <laughs> People uh, research me. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I don't know. I don't know who said it. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's a dump, but you don't have this. Wow. You don't have this in the UK. Let me know. Let me know. Why, why, why do you have to leave? Okay. If England is not a dump, yeah. Can I say it's heaven on earth? No, most definitely not. <laughs> definitely I mean, I don't, I don't want to be horrible to England because you know I, I grew I'm up saying, there. Yeah. But I prefer Sierra Leone. Why? There's nowhere like home. Why did you move back to Sierra Leone? I was tired of that England way of life, the hustle, the commuting, the trains, striving every month to make ends meet, like, you know, and there was no, there was no, there was no form of, I found myself always wanting to go on holiday. And I don't think you should, that should, how, that's how life should be, you know? How, how striving, you said you're striving to... Yeah, just to make ends meet, like, you know, paycheck to paycheck every month, you know, paying bills, doing all these kind of things, like, it's, it was really painful, it was starting to get to me. So I realized whilst I'm young and I can make this move, uh -huh. I might as well do it now. You're living in Freetown, huh? Mm -hmm. How yep. long have you been here? I've been here two years. Two good years? Two good years. In Freetown. Going and coming in at the same time? Yes, so I was going and coming and then I made the move in 2017 finally. And I was like, I'm done with the UK, I'm coming back home. <laughs> You're done with the UK. Yes. You're coming back home. I'm you believe home. that Africa is home, huh? Africa is I'm living my best life, Maya. I'm living my ultimate best life here. How can you live your best life in here? Maya, what day is it today? Today is Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday. Uh -huh. And we're at the beach. Oh, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> you can't do that in the UK. You can't do that in America. You can't do that. And only in Africa can you go to the beach on a Tuesday. Are you trying to tell me that you don't work during weekdays? I mean, I have my own company, I work for myself, so I can, I'm able to do these kind of things, which is another reason why I moved back to um, Sierra Leone. So you moved back, wanted to do things for yourself? Yes, I wanted to go down that entrepreneurial route, okay. and I've been fortunate enough to be able to just go straight into it, because I know people who have come and had to work before they can do what they want to do, mm. but I've been able to come and now I own my own business here, and yes. You, you couldn't in the UK? I mean, you could, but not the way I would have liked to. I mean, you know, in the UK, there's, you can do things. The UK opens doors for you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like nowhere opens doors more for you more than home. <laughs> like home is home. Home is home. Home is home. The UK is home. I've, I've, I've never felt more comfortable than in my own home. Do you not feel comfortable in your house? <laughs> yeah, I feel so comfortable. Exactly. So you're trying to tell me that the UK is not home for you? I mean, it's a different type of home for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> there's That's... levels to this. <laughs> You're living my best your life. Best life. Your best life. That, that, that's a good statement. You know, <laughs> like, can I also say I'm living my best life? Of course. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> of course. Hey, let, let me know. Mm -hmm. The experience in Freetown, huh? Yeah. The, so, lady, like, I want to say, like, um, are you living in here or you are surviving? Because um, I've talked to young, so many young Africans who are telling me that life in Africa is so difficult for us. That's why we tend to move to. Europe, America to live our best life. But you are living the best life here. Let me know. <laughs> are you living or, in, or surviving? I'm living my best life. I guess it's, it's, it, it, it's different from where you're coming from. When okay. you're here, mm -hmm. you don't know what's out there. Okay. When you've been out there and you've come here, here is better for me personally. And I try to tell people this all the time. Like, 
you don't know what's out there, the struggles that are out there. And I always say I prefer Sierra Leone struggles. <laughs> I prefer Sierra Leone struggles. She's called Young in Freetown. Yes. <laughs> Why Young in Freetown? The main aim of the channel was to show that you can be young and you can live in Freetown. Obviously, I'm Sierra Leonean, so I meant, like, in the wide scheme of things, you could be young and live in Africa. Mm -hmm. But because I was moving to Freetown, you can be young and live in Freetown. Back in the days, it was like if you were calling back home, it was to speak to your grandma, speak to your aunties, you know, those people who are back home. But now, I mean, there's so many young people here young in freetown and what do you talk on your channel we just try to showcase freetown in, a, in the most positive light as possible we try to show people who are doing amazing things young freetonians who are doing amazing things Sierra Leoneans who are striving to show their country in a better light let me know is it expensive to live in freetown at the moment yes how expensive oh it's expensive things are going up since the dollar, because we were match uh, against but, the dollar. No, but I, I'm still a millionaire in this country. So, uh -huh. no, it's all relative. I'm, I'm still a billionaire in this country. So what are you telling me that this guy's? Crazy? It's relative. It's not easy. It's very easy to be a millionaire here, but the money doesn't take you far. <laughs> it's but all I, relative. When I came here, mm -hmm. I had a hundred dollar. Mm -hmm. Took the hundred dollar I want to change. They gave me a million. I was well, like, there what? you go. That's how bad things are. As in, you're getting a million for a hundred dollars. We're matching, that's how bad things are, and with that kind yeah. of inflation. But she's saying that it's expensive to live in here, but she's still saying that she's living her best life. This is what I mean, the struggles are different. Exactly. So when you counterbalance everything, yes, okay, it might be more expensive, but mm. I can buy cucumbers for less than 20 pence. Mm -hmm. In the UK, I'm buying cucumbers for 80 pence. So think about the struggles are kind of different in terms of things. So yeah. for me here, it's expensive. But if I was to go to the UK, it's even more expensive. So it's all relative, you see. Wow. Wow. That's <laughs> so, an interesting conversation. <laughs> is, is there anything that I, you think I need to ask you, but I'm not asking you? Um, I don't know. If you would like to know what it is I do here, my business. Oh, okay. Tell us more about your business. Because, <laughs> so, listen, because all this is just a conversation. I don't yeah. have any script that I want to ask you. No, that's fine. Exactly. I totally understand. So, tell me something more about your business. So when we moved here, we mm -hmm. realized that... Um, so ice is big business. Okay. In the, I don't know if in Ghana if it's big business in Ghana, but okay. we do crushed ice here, drinking ice because people like to come to the beach, right. bring their ice, bring their drinks, call mm -hmm. their drinks. Mm -hmm. So we started an ice business. Wow! And what we do is we manufacture crushed ice and ice cubes, okay. and we deliver. Okay. So we deliver these these items to people's locations, wow. venues, parties, even beaches. Wow! So we're the only ones that I know of at the moment in Freetown who is offering this kind of service. So you've been in Freetown, we have a serious traffic problem. Okay. So yeah. can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? We take that stress out of people's event wow. planning. Wow. Yeah, wow. so that's what we do. Uh, which means you employed people to work for yes. you at the same time. Because Tuesday you need to be at the... <laughs> I've worked already this morning. I've done my job. I've oh, but put them... you, you're still creating jobs for people? Yes, so what we've done in the community that we have our um, factory, we've hired local people from the community. Because it's labour intensive, we've had young local boys who are out of school who still want to do something with their lives okay. and we pay them and they're, they're so happy with what they're doing. I want you to send a message to young Africans who are out of Africa. You know, they, they were born in the UK, born in America, born in other part of the world, but they really want to go back home. They have the desire to come back home, but yes. they don't know how. Do you have any message for the, them? The one thing I'm going to say to you now is Africa is green. You understand what I mean by Africa I, is I, green? I don't, I don't understand. It's fresh, it's green, it's ripe. I mean, us coming in now, I have a bunch of friends who are from the diaspora as well. Us coming in, everybody's finding their niche, you know. And coming in, not even to sound rude to the people who are here, but coming in with that different mind frame, you're able to see things differently. And you're able to start things that people may not have thought of here. Okay. And you have that advantage. Wow. So, yes. There is this UK girl, mm -hmm. she's black, I mean, she's black, okay? Yeah. And then she told me that, um, what am I? All my life, mm -hmm. even though my parents are from Africa, but I'm still scared of going to Africa. Were you scared when you were before no, coming? No, no. Do you think you have friends that are scared of coming to Africa? Yes, I mean, my YouTube channel, we get so many requests on like things that people want to know, and you get the most people ask me if we have running water here. Wow. <laughs> people ask me what kind of bugs we have here. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, you know, things like that. I mean, okay, running water is not everywhere, but for the most part, you've gone with the, with the water, haven't you? Yeah. Exactly. So, it's, it's not as bad as how the media say. See it with your own two eyes. If my, I say, if you can travel to Spain, you can travel to Japan, or you can travel to Turkey, you can come home. 
time for you to come home make sure you go to her youtube channel go subscribe yeah. and go see all the positive vibes about freetown sierra leone it's your boy mr ghana baby and i hope you enjoyed this amazing episode don't forget to like share and tell somebody that it's time to go back home i am maya <laughs> 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 thanks maya <laughs>